My name is Mitchell Powers, and it is my passion to become your next vice chairperson. My Samahan journey started my freshman fall semester. After having so much fun at GBMs, I decided to get more involved, get picked up as an odding, spuff my heart out at friendship games, act and sing in FCN, and shadow eboard officers. I participated in all of these events year after year because of my love for Samahan and I am so thankful that I was elected as this year's Social Activities Coordinator. Witnessing three executive boards and serving on one myself, I have seen what leadership styles have worked in the past, and that is valuable experience that I plan on giving next year's board. I realize that it is important to uphold the values that have made AB Samahan a successful organization for decades. For many students, including myself, Samahan is a home away from home, and I want to give every member that same experience. As a leader, I am not afraid to make change. This year, as social coordinator, I wasn't satisfied with the KAA process, so I made it into my own. I expanded the KAA form with more meaningful questions so that I could get a deeper understanding of each kuya Ate and Aring, so that I could make more quality parents. I'm happy to say that this was a huge success. That is why, as Vice, I will discuss with my fellow eBoard members what we can do to build on their position so that all of us can provide you with an even better Samahan experience. I'm ready to dedicate myself fully to the responsibilities of Vice Chairperson. I have perfect attendance at eBoard meetings and have always supported my fellow eBoard members whether their event was big or small. After planning two KA reveal events and the upcoming banquet, I will not have any problems making an awesome winter retreat. As vice chair, I would be responsible for assisting all executive board members with their duties. Communication is a huge key here. I will work to create personal relationships with my board so that they have the trust to tell me when they need help. And by encouraging trust, the entire board will be better equipped to help each other. My board's energy will match my energy, so I will lead by example, inspiring them to share the same passion and drive that I have. Of course, everything that we do as an executive board is for the general body members. My goal is for Samahan to be a welcoming environment for all of our new members and provide everyone with more leadership opportunities because personal growth is what college is all about. I also want to uh, make next year feel like a brand new experience for our returning members so that you can enjoy it as much as you did when you first joined Samahan. Lastly, I want to thank all of you for giving me another great year in Samahan and I want you to know that together we have the powers to make <laughs> the powers to make next year even better. Thank you. Thank you. And then the following three questions will be coming from our current vice chair. Um, if you had to choose between the traditions of Salahan and the changing beliefs of the members, which would you choose and why? For example, changing the social infrastructure of the organization. What I want to maintain isn't necessarily the traditions of this organization, but more so the values that this organization was founded upon. And that is to provide the Filipino community of this campus with a home away from home a place where they feel comfortable and where they can be themselves. That is what I hold dear to my heart with Salmahan. And so to better and more efficiently meet those values, sometimes change is necessary so that we can provide different processes and a different way to do things so that everyone in this organization feels more comfortable and that everything is more fair for everyone. So that is why Rather than tradition, I want to instate change so that we can make next year even better than this year was. Um, being vice, you focus so much on the internal working of the e-board and lose touch with the general members. 
Um, make some ways that you can keep in touch with the members in order to advocate for their beliefs while still focusing on the needs of the executive board. I definitely want to make myself an open resource to every member of Samahan. And ways that I can get more of their input is to simply ask, have maybe a discussion with a lot of the new members and the old members so that I can get a feel for how this year is running and what I can do to make it even better. And I could also send out like uh, Google Forms and stuff like that. Basically, I just want to collect everyone's opinions so that I can use those to improve the entire board. Okay, and then your last one. Um, how would you react if an executive board decision does not reflect the expectations that the community has for the organization? For example, if the executive board decision does not follow the traditions of Samoa or values of Samoa? What I would do is most likely have a closed session at an e-board meeting and discuss, take everyone back and look at the Constitution and say, these are the values that Samahan was founded upon and ask them if their current decision really is parallel with the values stated in the Constitution. And uh, of course, I would like to uh, have the uh, discussion go on until the entire board comes to a consens consensus about whether or not we should go through with the plan, and if not, what we can change about it so that it better aligns with our values. Okay, and the following two questions are uh, your audience questions. The first one, how will you create lasting relationships between e-board officers, and how will you create a cohesive board in which everyone feels welcome and feels that they can voice their concerns regardless of their position? Well, of course, starting early is integral. And communication is the key. So I would like to give my executive board over the summer more opportunities to communicate with me. Um, this, of course, a big part of this for this executive board started at summer retreat where we did many different workshops and we spent a lot of time together to build relationships and have discussion. So what I want to do is continue this and add more sort of e-board socials over the summer or more just workshops and retreats for the e-board so that we get a better understanding of each other, what our leadership styles are, what our strengths and weaknesses are, so that we are better equipped to help each other and so that we have a better under overall understanding of each other. Thank you. And then your final question. Um, Throughout the year, officers may start to lose sight on the purpose for events or incorporating our four pillars into their respective events. What steps would you take in order to remind them of our purpose and pillars in their, respect, in their events rather than doing it just because we've done it in the past year? I would like to, over the following year, remind my executive board of what they said today at their speeches and once again ask them what is your duty as an eboard officer? What gave you the drive to run for eboard? What is the commitment and what's, what are the values that you're upholding? I would do this several times throughout the year uh, at executive board meetings, just so that they never lose sight of it because they are constantly being told again and again why they are doing this. And I hope that that would help them realize throughout the year why they are doing it. Thank you.